Hi, this video is the first in the Spinal Pathways series. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss the anatomy and organisation of the spinal cord. In the following videos, we will discuss the dorsal column medial lemniscus pathway, the spinothalamic tract, and the corticospinal tract. So let's begin by taking a cross section of the spinal cord. We're going to cut through here like this. And this is what we see. The first thing you'll notice about the spinal cord is that there are two well-defined areas. The first is the white area around the outside, which we call white matter, and is comprised primarily of axons and the cells which support axons. The second is the grey matter, which is this central butterfly-shaped area which is where the cell bodies of the neurons reside. Other notable features include the dorsal median sulcus, which is this groove at the back of the cord, and the ventral median fissure, which is the larger groove at the front of the spinal cord. These features help us to orientate the spinal cord. Also of note is the central canal, which runs down the centre of the spinal cord. Cerebrospinal fluid runs through the central canal. Now let's look at some of the less obvious features of the spinal cord. Nerve axons run up and down the spinal cord in bundles known as fasciculi. The axons in a fasciculus are from neurons that have come from or are going to similar locations. So the first two fasciculi that we'll look at travel in these areas up the back of the spinal cord. And these are known as the gracile and cuneate fasciculi. Collectively, they are known as the dorsal column. The primary function of the dorsal column is to convey the senses of fine touch and proprioception, which means joint position, to the brain. I should just clarify that there is a left-sided version and a right-sided version of each pathway, but I've only drawn one or the other for clarity. To put it another way, the left and right sides of the spinal cord are mirrored. Moving along, off to the side here we have the lateral corticospinal tract, which carries limb motor or limb movement information. And alongside the ventral median fissure, we have the ventral corticospinal tract, and this carries motor information to the axial muscles, which is essentially every muscle that doesn't involve the limb. Back at the side, we have the lateral spinothalamic tract, which conveys pain and temperature sensation. And at the front, we have the anterior spinothalamic tract, which carries the crude touch sense from the body to the brain. Up here, we have Lasalle's fasciculus, and we'll see what that does in the spinothalamic tract tutorial. And finally here, we have a decussation of tracts known as the anterior white commissure. A decussation is where axons cross from the left side of the body to the right, or vice versa. So that's an overview of the spinal cord anatomy. In the next tutorial, we will discuss the dorsal column medial lemniscus pathway in more detail. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please help us produce more by making a donation at www.handwrittentutorials.com.